Hello friends, I, Dairi Bhatia, welcome you to my YouTube channel, Maths DNA, from origin to infinity. In this video, we are going to discuss a very important question of real analysis on the topic differentiability. The question is, which of the following functions are differentiable at x equals to 0? And this is a part C question, so there are more than one correct options. The options are A, fx is equal to x square into mod cos pi by x if x is not equal to 0 and 0 if x is equal to 0. Option B is fx is equal to mod x raised to 1 by 2 into x. Option C is fx is equal to tan inverse mod of 1 upon mod x if x is not equal to 0 and pi by 2 if x equals to 0 and D all of them. You might be knowing that differentiability and continuity are the most important concepts in real analysis. You can select any competitive exam such as CSI and NET, GATE, NBHM or any other MSc entrance exams. Definitely a question or more than a question, there is two questions are asked on the topic continuity and differentiability. So I would recommend you personally that you should go to the definitions and the questions of continuity and differentiability well before going to exam. Firstly, let us know what is differentiability and when does a function get differentiable. Then a function fx is said to be differentiable at x c if f dash c is equal to limit x tends to c fx minus fc upon x minus c exists. And when will that exist? It exists when the left hand derivative that is limit x tends to c minus fx minus fc upon x minus c is equal to the right hand derivative that is limit x tends to c plus fx minus fc upon x minus c. And there is already a video on the topic continuity and differentiability in my real analysis lecture series. You can watch it. Now, when you know the definition, I would recommend you to try the question that we have discussed first and then check whether your answers are correct or not. Now, let us solve it. Option A says fx is equal to x square into mod cos pi by x if x is not equal to 0 and 0 if x is equal to 0. Firstly, we find left hand derivative that is limit h tends to 0 f of 0 minus h minus f0 upon minus h. This is another definition for a differentiable function with left hand derivative. You can also apply this. This will give you limit h tends to 0 h square into cos pi by minus h mod minus f of 0 is 0 upon minus h. From here you get that limit h tends to 0 h into mod cos pi by minus h minus 0 is equal to 0. The minus sign will be there in the head of h. Give this equation number 1. Moving on we find the right hand derivative. It will be limit h tends to 0 f of 0 plus h minus f 0 upon h. That will give us limit h tends to 0 h square into mod cos pi by h minus 0 upon h and applying limit we get limit h tends to 0 h into cos pi by h minus 0 and that is again equals to 0. So give this equation number 2. From equation 1 and 2 we get that left hand derivative is equals to right hand derivative and so f is differentiable at x equals to 0. Moving on. We check option B. Option B is fx is equal to mod x raised to 1 by 2 into x. This is a simple one. Just apply the limits left hand derivative that will be limit h tends to 0 f of 0 minus h minus f0 upon minus h and that will be mod of minus h raised to 1 by 2 into minus h minus 0 upon minus h and that will clearly be equal to 0. Give this equation number 3 and applying it on the right hand side that is right hand derivative you get limit h tends to 0 f of 0 plus h minus f 0 upon h and this again gives you a 0 that is mod h raised to 1 by 2 into h minus 0 upon h you can easily simplify it and it will again give you 0 and give this equation number 4 from here you get that left hand derivative is again equals to right hand derivative so the given fx that is mod x raised to 1 by 2 into x is differentiable at x equals to 0. Now students make a mistake over here. They see that option A and option B are differentiable. So they don't check option C and they directly tick that all of them are differentiable at x equals to 0 because they think that it is a part C question and all of them will be 
differentiable. So don't be in a hurry. Take your time and check each and every option because part C questions contain 4.75 marks. So it is very important and very crucial. And they typically give you option A and B correct so that you might think that C and D are also correct and then you take all of them. So now let us see that whether C is correct or not. Option C says fx is equal to 10 inverse mod of 1 upon mod x if x is not equal to 0 and pi by 2 if x is equal to 0. We go with the same method. We first find left hand derivative that is limit x tends to 0 f of 0 minus h minus f 0 upon minus h and that will be limit h tends to 0 10 inverse of 1 upon mod of minus h minus f 0 is pi by 2 upon minus h. Now this is a 0 upon 0 form because 10 inverse 1 upon minus mod h at 0 will be pi by 2 and minus pi by 2 upon minus h. So this is a 0 upon 0 form and you all know how to simplify it. We apply L hospitals rule which says that when you get a 0 upon 0 or undetermined form you differentiate the numerator, differentiate the denominator and then again apply the limit. So the differentiation of 10 inverse x is 1 upon 1 plus x square and here it is 1 upon 1 plus 1 upon h square and again chain rule the differentiation of 1 upon minus h that will be mod of minus h that will be minus 1 upon h square and the differentiation of denominator that is minus h differentiation will be minus 1 and then when you apply the limit you get limit h tends to 0 h square upon h square plus 1 into 1 upon h square and that is equals to 1 so give this equation number 5 now you might be thinking that what will be the right hand derivative you should try it first and then watch the video ahead so let us solve that also we find right hand derivative that is limit h tends to 0 f of 0 plus h minus f 0 upon h and then you get it as limit h tends to 0 10 inverse 1 upon mod h modulus minus pi by 2 upon h here also we again get it as 0 upon 0 form so we need to apply the l hospital rule that is limit h tends to 0 1 upon 1 plus 1 upon h square into minus 1 upon h square into 1 and that gives you limit h tends to 0 h square upon h square plus 1 into minus 1 upon h square and that is equals to minus 1 and here give this equation number 6 you can easily see that left hand derivative is 1 and right hand derivative is minus 1 and so fx is not differentiable at x equals to 0 I hope now you are clear with the concept of differentiability and here the correct answers are option A and option B. Thank you and yes, improve yourself with us. For more practice, you can select any of the given below 6 different types of papers, improvement series and 300 important questions with detailed solution. The demo improvement paper is for free and you can find the registration link given below in the description box. And also be a member of our social club and check out more than 155 videos on our YouTube channel. Get a complete study material on our Telegram channel.